Andrew, thank you. And as you know, it was a focus of the president-elect's campaign, a topic that has millions concerned as Donald Trump prepares to take office. What could happen to millions of undocumented immigrants? News 4's Roseanne Coletti's in Jackson Heights to explain the action that could legally be taken. Roseanne? Well, as you can very well imagine, New York City's community outreach organizations are being hit with questions from the city's diverse immigrant population. And right now, there are more questions than answers. They're busier than ever at community-based immigrants' rights groups, such as Make the Road New York. 22-year-old Antonio Alarcon is one of their members. I feel... Um with the uncertainty of what's going to happen with me. Uncertain and worried. He's just one of the estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants living in the U.S. President-elect Trump related his intent to jail and deport two to three million criminal and undocumented immigrants. What we are going to do is get the people that are criminal and have criminal records, gang members, drug dealers, we have a lot of these people, probably two million, it could even be three million. We're getting them out of our country or we're going to incarcerate. For the rest, like Antonio, Trump is taking a wait and see approach. But even those in the country illegally are entitled to due process. And the right of access to the criminal courts and then after being found either guilty or dismissed, they then could find themselves in immigration court. Michael Wilds is an immigration attorney. His firm has represented such notables as John Lennon and Melania Trump on immigration issues, as well as many undocumented immigrants. He says despite conviction Convictions, sometimes international agreements prohibit sending back. We cannot return people to countries where they're going to be tortured. Antonio's parents illegally crossed the Mexican border with him when he was just a little boy. They returned to Mexico. He's attending Queens College and has deferred action on his immigration status for two years, but fears that all could change. Um, one of my concerns is not finishing college, even though it will be my senior year starting next semester. Others say they will be watching developments one day at a time as the new administration transitions into the White House. In Jackson Heights, I'm Roseanne Coletti, News 4 New York. All right, Roseanne Coletti reporting now. Of course, we will continue.